Okay, so you've gotten the air in, now where does it go? Hopefully, you are breathing in through your nose, so that air first fills your nasal cavity, circulating around your turbinates, getting warmed, humidified, and purified. That inhaled air is also getting mixed with endogenous nitric oxide that is being released from your paranasal sinuses. And the slower the airflow, the more nitric oxide that gets released into your body for all those great cardiovascular and immune benefits. Now the air is ready to continue on its journey, so it starts to travel from your nose to your throat, heading down the trachea, aka your windpipe. And from there, the structures of your lungs really do look like an upside down tree. They keep branching into progressively smaller and more plentiful structures. So you have your two primary bronchi, which are the two main branches off of your trachea. And then these branch into even smaller bronchioles, which eventually branch into even tinier alveoli. And that brings us to the essential function of respiration, gas exchange. This is where that magical swapping of oxygen and carbon dioxide happens. This is where the oxygen molecules that you breathe in jump onto the hemoglobin transporters in your red blood cells in order to get shuttled around your body. And then depending how much CO2 is present in your blood and how acidic the pH of your blood is in any given moment will help to determine how much of that transported oxygen actually exits your red blood cells and enters your tissues for oxygenation and nourishment. This gassy exchange is a key consideration when discussing optimal health, fitness, performance, and longevity. I'm gonna talk more about the exchange of gases in the next few breath lectures in two minutes or less, so stay tuned. If you enjoy these super quick breath lessons, I've got an entire playlist of them, which I add to about once per week. Check them out, and I'll see you next time.